In this video, I'm going over installing a minimal Windows 10. Basically, let's say you've already downloaded like Windows 10 de bloated ISO, or you created your own using like a slipstream and completely stripped out every single Microsoft package, which may include Microsoft Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and you literally have nothing on the system. So with absolutely nothing on the system, you come to the realization you don't even have a web browser and you don't have access to a secondary machine to put a web browser on. So we need to use PowerShell to download a web browser and install it on this bare bones machine. And that's what we're gonna do today. So with that, let's go ahead and jump onto the desktop and install Google Chrome using PowerShell. So let's say you're actually installing a Windows 10 clean install, but not just any Windows clean in install. You're, you're actually looking at all the packages and you decide you want to strip everything out because you're just tired of all the Microsoft junk. So you remove Cortana, you remove Windows Defender, you remove Windows Update, you go ahead and remove pretty much everything you can. And well, it's really clean and you have a working Windows, but you don't have an internet browser because you uninstalled Internet Explorer and you uninstalled Edge, which both were pretty bad products, but how do you go download Google Chrome or Chromium? Even better, right? I have just the script for you. So if we right click on our Windows key and hit Windows PowerShell Admin, we're gonna go ahead and allow unrestricted scripts for now because trusting a stranger on the internet like myself that says he's a professional is definitely a good thing all the time. So we're just gonna go ahead and set the execution policy, policy to unrestricted. Now we run this command, set execution policy unrestricted, and we go ahead and hit yes to this. And then we simply need to download a script from my personal website. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is done with invoke web request dash URI and then the actual URL you're gonna be using from PowerShell. And then you need to say, output this file to here. Now, right now this is sitting in system 32, which is not recommended. So let's go ahead and change our directory before running this command. So the easy way to do this is CD space tilde and then it goes ahead and puts it into your root directory. I like downloading things here a lot better than downloading things into the system 32 file directory just because I'm a sane person and I have a brain. So with that, we're going to go back to our invoke web request and go ahead and hit enter here. This is going to download the file and if we do a dir, you'll see that file right there. And since we already set our execution policy, we can just simply run this file. However, before you run any script off the net, Please look at the source just to make sure I'm not installing a billion viruses on your computer and using you as a, a zombie for some DDoS attack I have against, you know, people. So we'll go into our PC and go to our main folder. So we'll go users, Chris, and we'll see this PowerShell script. So let's go ahead and open this just to take a look at what this script is doing. Now it's setting the path and it's also setting the installer to chrome underscore installer.exe. It's setting the actual invoke request to download.google.com and saying download this version of Google Chrome. By the time you watch this video, this version's probably out of date, so you might want to upgrade or you can just go ahead and run it and Google Chrome will update itself. Either or, that's up to you and then output the file to the path and the installer we've already set, which is a temp directory. Then we start the process under that path and installer, and then we just say, hey, silent and install as the arguments to this command. This basically says, hey, install this, but don't ask the user anything. And this will run it as an elevated administrator with this verb run as, and then it will go ahead and remove the temporary files that are part of this installer. 
So with that, and let's say you understand all that, let's go ahead and run the script and see what happens and see if we get that wonderful Google Chrome. We can simply do this with a dot backslash install chrome.ps1. So we'll go ahead and do that. It goes out to the web when it says writing request stream, that really means downloading. Apparently some nerd at Microsoft thought, hey, let's just say writing request stream because that sounds cool and smart. I deserve a raise. So there we go. The script has run and it installed and everything. So this literally took about 15 to 20 seconds for my computer. Uh, depending on your connection speed, this may take longer for you. But we can go ahead and click on our Google Chrome. It goes ahead and adds the desktop icon. And if we pull up our start menu, ah, look at that. We now have a web browser that is not Microsoft. And we don't have any Microsoft web browsers on this machine whatsoever. Um, so all is right with the world. And we still maintain our relatively clean install. It could have been a little cleaner by putting Chromium on there. But alas, we have Google Chrome. And it is a far bit better than anything Microsoft has to offer. So there you have it. For you five people out there that wanted to know how to do this, you now have a video on how to install Google Chrome using PowerShell. And a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make wacky videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.